as humans, we're all here together for one of many purposes. But one of them is our desire to succeed. Now we can define success in many ways, but we all have that innate one desire to succeed. My name is Lori Van, and I've spent my entire professional life trying to understand how to help humans perform better. For the last 20 years, I have worked with my clients to help them reach their full potential. Now one day, I was sitting in a meeting and it occurred to me, I think we live in a zombie society. Now you may ask, what on earth is a zombie society? I mean, isn't that a TV show or something? No, this is actually happening in our world. So the zombie society is one that's being impacted by P-R-I-D-E, pride. And it's interfering with our ability to live life to the fullest. So let me tell you what that acronym PRIDE stands for. It's perfectionism. It's rigidity. It's instant gratification. It's dependency. It's egocentrism. Now, what could possibly be the consequences of pride? Well, let me tell you, some of those consequences are gonna be anxiety, depression, substance abuse, violence. In my areas of expertise, non-suicidal self-injury and suicide. So let's break down pride just a little bit more. First, you have perfectionism. Now let's just start off and get this out of the way. We don't live in a perfect world and we're not perfect. It's an impossible task. And to think that you can somehow be perfect, well, frankly, is flawed thinking. The problem lies in that sometimes we stop challenging ourselves for that fear of failure. And when we stop challenging ourselves, well, we stop growing. There is no growth in fear. And frankly, fear will slowly kill us. Now the R is rigidity. Now we know if something is immovable or is stuck or is you know, solid somehow that rigid inflexible things tend to break. Now in our society, sometimes we like to get into, let's say the status quo effect. The, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of attitude. Or let's just go along to get along. You know, don't rock the boat. Well, rigidity is problematic because if something is rigid, it can't grow. So you're gonna see a little bit of a theme here that when things are rigid, we don't grow. Our society isn't growing because we have such rigid definitions of things. We're blocking out that creative spirit. I is for instant gratification, which I think has become a little bit of a scourge in our society. It's been detrimental to say the least. The whole now, 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 give it to me attitude, well, that's problematic because in that drive to have it here, to have it now, well, what do you think that does to patience, to motivation, to ambition, to self-control, the idea of persistence? Well, instant gratification has a tendency to knock out all of those things. And instant gratification, well, that desire to have it now actually becomes that dividing principle between those that are successful and those that are not. The D is for dependency. Now let's clarify, there is a difference between a person that is there for you, that they support you, that they 
uh, you have a great connection with them versus someone that, let's say, is emotional cling wrap or intellectual cling wrap. In our society, we've erroneously placed investments into fake friends, other people's opinions, to the detriment of we're not thinking for ourselves. And when we don't think for ourselves, well, that means we might be sucking the ideas out of other people. We're not using our own judgment. And that can lead to just carbon copy people. People that don't think for themselves and for those that actually do think for themselves, well, they start to become in a minority. And again, how can we grow and move in that environment? Now, E is for egocentrism and well, let's just be honest, shall we? We live in a very egocentric world. Me, 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 or, you know, with them. The what's in it for me principle. But here's the problem, is that oftentimes we forget that our actions aren't just about us. Our actions have a ripple effect. Our actions affect other people, either in very direct ways or in very indirect ways. Now, if you're a business person, you might be thinking, well, I want to increase sales and I want to be a great leader and I want to be seen in this certain way. And how can I do that? Well, if you're focused on yourself, you can't. That's just the simple truth. Good leaders, good business people aren't solely focused on themselves. They're not egocentric. Now let's go into what causes this zombie society, and I'll just touch on four thoughts with that. One, I think we expect a free lunch. We've been, I guess, trained to look for free lunches. We look for shortcuts over effort. We have lowered the standards by how we judge things, and we're rewarding things without results. Now, free lunches, here's a problem. You can't have a free lunch without having some stomach aches that go along with it. And when you expect something for nothing, again, what does that do to resiliency levels? What kind of impact is that gonna have? Now, there are sometimes three things that contribute to this. Poor boundary setting by parents or caregivers. It could be role modeled. Heaven knows our society has done that. And some people just go, whatever, sure, and they just give in. And obviously those are not helpful for the individual. Now, what about taking those shortcuts? Well, again, if you take a shortcut versus working through something, where's your experience level? You miss out on valuable lessons from trying and failing and putting yourself out there. But you also miss out again on that resiliency piece. And when society lowers its standards, it brings us all down. Lower expectations, lower standards, there's no improvement there. I mean, where's the bar to achieve? And, and yes, there are always gonna be a certain few that always want to excel and go above that bar. But our society, our society needs to be going up with it. And when you have short-term benefits, I guarantee you are gonna have long-term consequences. And rewarding with no results. Well, let's just say that's settling. You are settling. And it's not helping anyone when you settle for a poor product. So why should we care? Well, while science has gone leaps and bounds in developing, it's missing out on the human factor. Until we address the human factor, we are going to be more prone to keep falling into this zombie society. And what is the solution, you may ask? Life, L-I-F-E. So life is learning. It's innovation, but with balance. It's fiscal responsibility, putting our funds not just to technology, but also mental health and growing ourselves in that way. It's energy, let's focus on creativity. Let's focus on other positive areas of development. So do you want to destroy that zombie society? Because I'm motivated to do that. 
Don't let pride take away your life. And if you are interested in helping your clients, your community, your school districts, see me, Lori Van. I am there to help you live.